My name is Rachel, I'm an agronomist at K-State, and today we're gonna to talk about the reproductive phases of corn plants. So I'm standing here in a corn field, and if you look at these plants, you can see that we've got ears down here, and at the top we see a tassel. And corn is really special because the male and female parts of the plant are in different sections. In a lot of flowers, they have male and female together. So the ear is the female part, this is where we'll find the kernels, and the tassel is where the pollen develops. And when we're talking about pollination in corn, what happens is the pollen drops from the tassel and will land on the silks that are coming out of the ears. That process lasts for about three to five days. So if all your corn plants aren't about the same stage at the same time, they might not pollinate because there's a very short window for that to happen. When we're talking about the different phases of the reproductive uh, cycle in corn. There are six key stages to that. R1, which means reproductive one, the first reproductive stage, is silking. And I have an ear here that is silking. You can see it's a really small ear, but there's silks that are coming out the top. You can see these are still white and red. The ears on these plants behind me are a lot more mature. So they're kind of brown. They've been here for a while. But each one of these silks, if you were to peel the husk back and look at this ear, we can see that each of those silks is attached to a unique spot on this ear. Each of these silks will become a kernel. So if you have an ear that has 300 kernels on it, 300 different corn seeds, there are 300 silks that come out the tip of that ear that have to pollinate. So the pollen will come and land on these silks, travel down the silks to the kernel, and when the pollen reaches the kernel, that's called fertilization. And then we can move on to the next reproductive phase, which is R2. It's called blister, because the kernels start filling with a clear liquid, kind of like a blister, which is gross, but that's why we call it the R2 blister stage. At that point, the plant starts putting more starch into those kernels, and we reach R3, which is the milk stage. This ear is at milk stage. If you like sweet corn, like I do, uh, R3 is the stage that we pick sweet corn at because the kernels are starting to get some starch and sugar in them, but they're not solid yet. So if I were to squish these with my finger, you can see that they're squirting everywhere. They kind of squish and there's milky liquid coming out. R3 is milk because the inside of the kernel, the contents look like milk. So that's the R3 stage. After R3, the kernels continue to fill with more starch. They get harder and harder. If you've ever had sweet corn that you were eating and it was really tough and didn't taste very good when you were eating it, it had probably reached the R4 stage, which is dough, the dough stage. The inside gets a lot more grainy and tough. And that process of filling the kernels keeps continuing. We go to R5, which is dent. These plants behind me are at dent stage. So if we open up one of these ears, pull the husks back, we can see that on the kernels that pollinated, we see that not all of them pollinated. So this one came too late and the pollen from the tassel, when it landed on the silks, it was too late, it didn't pollinate. We have some kernels that did make though, and you can see that they have a dent in the top. And R5 is called the dent stage because we start to see a dent. Now, I said there were six R stages, six reproductive stages, we're at R5. So how much of the seed's dry weight do you think it has at stage R5? We're over halfway. So you might think that it should have well over half of its weight, right? But actually at the beginning of R5, corn kernels only have about 50% of their final weight. So R5 to R6, there's a lot of starch that's being put into these kernels. And that starch comes from the sugars that the leaves are making. But corn also has the ability to store sugar in its stalk. So it will move that into the ear as well. So at R5, we go from 50% of its dry weight to 100% of its dry weight at R6. R6 is called black layer because that means that at the base of the kernel, if you scratch the tip back, 
you'll see a black layer on that kernel, which is actually the corn's belly button, which means it's not getting any more nutrients from its mom, from the plant, and it's its own seed that we can then take and plant next year. And those are the reproductive phases of corn from R1 silking all the way to R6 mature. We need to wait after R6 for the grain to dry down enough that we can harvest it, and then the farmer can pick it and it gets sold.